So if you're doing any kind of voiceover work on a mic, you're probably going to need a pop filter. I don't know, unless you're one of those diction gurus where just toots of air just kind of come off your mouth and gently kiss the microphone, and the mic's like, give me more. Well, if that's you, good for you. But for the rest of us, probably not, and we're going to need a pop filter. So today we're looking at three pop filters for a shotgun microphone. Which one's the best for you? Is there any difference? And will it make you sound better? The answer is no. So over the years, I've collected different pop filters for my shotgun microphone. From the foamy sleeve one that normally comes with your microphone, to the double mesh pop filter that you would normally see on condenser microphones, to the little boutique-esque uh, metal, no, metal-esque mesh that covers your mic and kind of slides right on top of it. All of them claiming to have their own specific design to reduce plosive, and some of them advertise to reduce mouth noises, such as clicks. It really doesn't. But over the years, I've come to try out all of them, and I'm bringing you my test results here today to let you know, mm, you know, what's what. All right, so this is how the comparison's going to go. I'm gonna take a sample script. I'm gonna read it four different times, one without a pop filter, and the other three times with each individual different pop filter. Splice it all together, and then we'll take a listen to see what the differences are, nuances, or if there's an overall winning winner in the end. All right, to the studio. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you own. Prepare to put your purple and black pleated plaid pants on. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you own. Now, properly dressed in your purple and black pleated plaid pants, be gone. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you own. Prepare to put your purple and black pleated plaid pants on. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you own. Now, properly dressed in your purple and black pleated plaid pants, be gone. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you own. Prepare to put your purple and black pleated plaid pants on. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you own. Now properly dressed in your purple and black pleated plaid pants, be gone. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you own. Prepare to put your purple and black pleated plaid pants on. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you own. Now properly dressed in your purple and black pleated plaid pants, be gone. I'm here expecting kind of big massive results from the comparison of this and they, <laughs> literally they all kind of sound the same to me. I mean, you'd have to like really have like some crazy listening ears for this kind of thing to really notice a difference. All right, but I, I guess we're talking about plosives, right? Okay, obviously uh, the microphone without any kind of pop filter, that one sounded the most plosive ee. -E. It's not like my mouth was all up in the microphone. Uh, the mouth placement, I mean the mic placement on my mouth kind of had it so you you really wouldn't have that much plosives, but you could still hear those puff, puffs still trying to, uh, being a little aggressive on the microphone. All right, so that was probably like zero. The next one, I would probably say the, the foamy sleeve. That one probably the best against plosives, but to my ears it sounded like there was a bit of a muffle to it. It wasn't a bad sound, but it's probably just a, you know, what's your taste and sound kind of thing. Uh, you, you may just need to get used to it over the years or sessions of just being used to it. I see a lot of professional use studios using the regular default sleeve on that microphone. So yeah, you know, whatever. I'm pretty sure the muffledness is something that you could probably EQ uh, during post. All right, the double metallic sleeve one, the one that slides over the microphone. I like the sound, sound of that one. It sounds very similar to the double mesh one. There was a, to my ears, very, very, very slight, I'm probably sure you may not have heard it, but there was probably like a, a metallic esky sound to it. Yeah, yes or no, you probably didn't hear it, but it's it's a little there to my ear, ears. Um, that one promoted to actually not have mouth clicks, uh, to, to help against mouth clicks, but I still heard it, I think. Probably, whatever, listen back and you can see. Um, and then of course the double fabric one, you know, that one held up as well. It wasn't as muffled as the sleeve one, but 
it still did its thing against the plosives. Okay, so in the end, out of all of the out of the four of these, which one do I pick? Well, the one that I've been using for years, and you've probably seen in other videos, is the double fabric one. Why? I don't know, because I've just gotten used to the sound. I like it. Um, it really doesn't get in the way of when I'm reading copy. It just kind of lays there and it's just kind of there, and I and I can articulate it. I can either have it flat up against the mic, like like this, or I can have it like this, or like this. You know, just kind of depending on what I need to do. The the double the double metal mesh fabric one, whatever you call it, um, that's probably my second best. I know. I, listen, I've seen a lot of a lot of popular, well, <laughs> far in their career, doing a lot of movie trailer work, uh, television promo work, using that pop filter. And my guess is they like to they use it for really being right on top of the mic. And, and secondly, it doesn't get, a, get in the way of you reading copy. The worst thing you wanna do is have a pop filter and it's just getting in the way of your face of reading copy. Copy. So there's, there's that. And of course, in a lot of, like I said, production studios, especially if they're just doing auditions, they'll have the regular sleeve on there. And you know, if you're a complete boss, then you'll have nothing on it. All right, guys, I'll leave links for all this stuff down below so you can, if you're looking for a pop filter for your shotgun microphone. Besides that, that is the shotgun pop filter test here, right here, or right now. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.